y'all what really happened. I'm gonna have to tell y'all about this on my next stop, okay? I gotta get back on the road. It's a story time. Good morning, Tip Squad. The day has officially arrived. It is the day to hit the road to Milwaukee. I have been preparing for this like for a while. I really been preparing since like a couple weeks ago as far as like making sure tires and everything were ready to go. I've been drinking water and water and more water and water, making sure I'm really hydrated for this ride. It is currently the time of 4.12 a.m. I said I wanted to be on the road at four, but I mean, I'm at the gas station now, so I did officially leave my house. I'm excited for this ride. I did get some sleep last night, so I'm rested. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get there. It is Wednesday today. So of course I'm gonna stop off tonight, go sleep and get up in the morning and finish the rest of the ride into um, Milwaukee, but I'm excited for this. Um, definitely gonna be crossing some state lines that I hadn't crossed yet before. I'm just excited for it. Um, we have someone that's riding on with us today. You wanna say hello to the camera? Hello, <laughs> Woo! So he was gonna go by himself and you know, he linked up with us. He's going to ride with us. You know, nobody, if they don't have to take that ride by themselves, don't really want to. But if you got to do what you got to do, you got to do what you got to do. Y'all know that's what we do. So, gassed up already. Hubby's inside. I'm ready to hit this road. I'm ready to bring y'all some good content. Other than that, guys, you know what? I'm going to sign off this morning because we're about to get ready to go. All right. We'll check in later. Peace. Y'all, what really happened? I'm going to have to tell y'all about this on my next stop, okay? I gotta get back on the road. It's a story time. All right, guys. We had our first fuel stop here. We're in Virginia. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right. We're in Virginia, but uh, this is my first time really like riding in the mountains, and they're 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 beautiful so far. The weather is a little changed a little, a little bit on me. It's getting a little cool. But so far, so good. I got a story time to tell y'all about. <laughs> we stopped side the road for a little bit when um, we was coming right before Mount Airy. So, um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But it wasn't a long stop at all. Um, it didn't stop us at all. We were able to get back on the road and um, head up a little bit. So, next stop, um, I don't know exactly where we're going to be, but we're going to ride about another two hours or so. And another few will stop from there. But... Look, we're on our way, Harley Davidson 120. I'm on my way to Milwaukee. for gas it is currently 10 47 a.m so we're making good time we just crossed over into ohio state line across the ohio river let me tell you going through west virginia was beautiful um going through those curvy windy roads and everything it was beautiful though, seeing those mountains also though the not so fun part i got ate up on the road by some i don't even know if this mess is in my seat But they were tearing my shins up and everything else. So they were just like everywhere on the road. But anyways, I get some seat. I'm about to eat me some fruit, y'all. Pack some watermelon up and drink. We make sure I drink water. I get some water. Watch some water. 
I'm trying to stay hydrated. Um, the weather has been pretty good. And it was cold, surprisingly. It was chill. It was cold, cold, but it was um, chilly going through um, West Virginia. We was going through Virginia and West Virginia. Um, I think the temperature lowest it was saying like it was 60, 58, 60, somewhere in there. So I wasn't prepared for that, but at the same time, I was kind of prepared. I should have known. But it's okay. I've been through a lot worse. And um, now we're hitting the sun part now. So. But we've got a lot of road behind us, and we still have some ahead of us, but more behind us. So. All right, so now I'm about to hang out for a little bit. Like I said, drink some water, eat me some watermelon, banana, and stuff, and then we're going to get back on this road. Tip Squad, we got to check in with Joe. Ask him how the ride's been going so far. Like, we've been making good time. I told y'all that. So I'm going to let Joe kind of tell y'all. Let's see. How's the ride going for you? Well, the ride has been great. It's been great, right? Been great time. Like I was telling you, I think we might make it there today. <laughs> and I, I stay overnight. And I stay overnight and take it all the way. We'll see, we'll see, but this is good. This is good for right now. It is, but if we shut it down, if we we're kind of ahead of schedule, we get there, we still can shut it down kind of early and then get up yeah, super yeah. early in the morning. So we have to so we can have some time to relax and eat a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take advantage of tomorrow. You know? Start day. Start, that's it. Yeah. But it's going good, y'all. Oh, yeah, great ride. I wish you guys were here. I wish they were, but they're going to be here when they watch the video, though. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Another fill up is currently 1.55 p.m. That is, um, traffic has been going great. I'm not complaining at all. Um, the weather, as far as the weather, uh, we did get some sun when we got out here, but now it's like a little overcast, which is great. That's like the best riding weather there. I'm like been snacking on my fruits and drinking my water in between my snack, in between my stops here. Um, other than that, look, the girl is just, look, we riding along, we're cruising on down the road now. All right, guys, so we're about to get back on this road and finish up um, the part, that the leg that we're going to do today. And then um, we'll try to ride about a couple more hours, and then we'll call it a night and finish the rest in the morning. All right, Tip Squad, check back in later. in Maryville, Indiana. So we're about 40 miles from Chicago. <clears throat> so, which is the next state we're going, Illinois. And then from there, we'll hit Wisconsin and you know I'll be in Milwaukee. So we stopping here for the night and we just fueled up. We're getting ready to get us a room, get some food, and you know, just chill and relax, relax a little bit. So we can get up in the morning and finish the last leg of this ride. We did like 790 miles today. So that was it was a pretty good ride like I'm, I'm not gonna complain at all uh, <clears throat> we seen traffic on the other side going the other way it was backed up it was like an accident and everything but we made it pretty pretty safely here so now I'm just the hard thing to find something to eat like you know I'm still not trying to eat something too heavy still trying to keep it a little light so we're gonna do that and then I'll check in with y'all when I sit down to eat it's time to eat y'all so we're at L Poblano. I don't want to jack it up too much, y'all. Excuse me. What, how do you pronounce it? Poblano. Poblano. Like the pepper, y'all. So I had it right. So we're choosing to eat Mexican. Like our hotel is literally right beside it. We walk, park the bikes. We did, like I said, like almost 800 miles a day. But it was a good ride. The weather was nice. We missed out on rain. The rain, um, we got here after rain came. The sun didn't beat us up too bad. It just was chilly at first start this morning. But other than that, like, it's been good. We've been, it's been a nice ride. I'm not complaining. Hopefully the food is good too. That'll help wrap up the night too. And we get to chill a little bit, like I said, before we hit the road anymore. We're not going to leave too early because we're only about two hours out from um, Milwaukee. So it's just a good thing. We don't have to like leave at the crack of dawn in the morning. So that's good. Um, Joe, um, you had a good ride? I had a great ride. You had a great ride? Oh, yeah. So we didn't scare Joe off with us riding. So I think, like, you know, we did decent for him to come back and ride with us again if he chooses to. 
um, a six foot. You know I love meeting friends. I can't ever do this without six foot. Y'all know that. So I think I'm gonna eat now, and then I'll probably check in with y'all later. Y'all might see me eating. I don't know, but I'm hungry. Right, y'all gotta make this quick so I can eat. I just want to show y'all my beer tacos I got. I try to get away from it sometimes, but I can't. All right, I'm about to bless this food. You gotta eat. All right, guys, I'm back in the room now. Just finished eating. Food was good. I'm nice and full. I'm so glad we got here like early because I get to sit and relax a little bit. It's right now. Well, okay. Because I know time is going to change. It's going to go back an hour once we get to Chicago, like right to Chicago. And like I said, we're only like 40 miles from there. So right now on my time, it's still 740. But I know time is going to go back an hour once we get there. So. But currently 740, still Eastern time. Um, I got to tell y'all about my um, my story time, what happened earlier. So all y'all know, I have ear rod on my bike. All right. My ear rod has been working perfectly fine. It's been doing awesome. Like, I haven't had any hiccups with it. So y'all know, recently I had to get a new tire on my bike to come here. The tire was, you know, it's been had its mouth since the same as days. So I had to get a new tire. Had a new tire. And like a couple days later, I like, hear some seepage from my ear rod. So my husband and I checked it out, and it was like one of my lines had got like a little kinked up. So he just had to pull it out a little bit. It's like where the three lines kind of connect. It was a little kinked up or so. So he just kind of pulled it out, and it was working fine. It was fine. All right. So of course you know we looked everything over, make sure everything was like copacetic and everything before we hit the road this morning. Remember, I got a rose by 412. A.M. that is when we hit the road and we were coming through Spring Lake and right when we got up to like Winston-Salem area right outside of Winston-Salem I felt like well uh, let me backtrack a little bit so when we got like through Siler City which is all y'all probably don't know that's like near Greensboro North Carolina right before there I felt like I was like mm, I'm riding a little different I was like it feels a little bumpy so you know I asked my husband I was like does this road feel a little bumpy to you and he's like, well, like, no more than normal. And I was like, it's feeling extra bumpy. So we kind of pulled off the exit a little, and I felt like my air had lost a little bit. So I just picked it up a little. I was like, hmm, maybe I didn't, like, jack it up enough or so. So I jacked it up some, and we got back on the road. That was like a little quick five-minute hop off the exit and hop back on. And then we was coming through. Now we're getting through Winston-Salem. And for all those that are not familiar with Winston-Salem, that's in North Carolina as well. So we haven't got out of North Carolina yet. So then, like, we started, again, my air, like, started feeling like it was going out. I felt like I was getting lower, and the road felt real bumpy. And then, like, we hit a real hard bump, and it was like, boom. I know y'all like that noise. <laughs> but that's, like, the sound effect I'm giving y'all for, like, how my bike, like, just kind of bottomed out for my air. So I was like, we have to pull over, like, now. I was like, I think, like, my air has went out. Like, by this point, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. And I was like, this can't happen because I got to get to Milwaukee. Like, and everything has been working smoothly. So, we got off an exit real quick. Thanks to my husband and Joe, like, got my seat off. And um, they were looking at everything. And that line had got caught underneath my battery box again. So, he had to, like, unscrew a couple screws to get that out. And then, um, once they got it out. But, when we checked it, though, like, as soon as we tried to lift it up before we seen that the um, line was caught underneath my battery box, like, as soon as we lifted it up, the air would, like, ride right back down. So it was not holding air at all. So luckily, like I said, my husband had already kind of figured what it was. Once the this time the cord, I'm sorry, the little wire itself, it was caught underneath my battery box. So we had to like take my seat off and get that unscrewed and move it from underneath my battery box. And once he did that, everything was right in the world again. It's like my air was back working and everything was perfectly fine. I know I had a lot of naysayers, so you know, air I go out. And everything and like I said truth be told I didn't know I was gonna be crossing as many state lines that I'm doing when I first got my bike so I was more so concerned about trying to get it to fit my height so but other than it just getting caught and getting kinked up on itself or underneath the battery box like the air ride works perfect once we got all my airlines cleared out like everything was all right in the world so like I said um, we made we've made it all the way to um, Indiana here and like I said, we're like 40 miles from Chicago and everything has been working good. 
we've been on on track so i'm definitely more than likely probably going to look into some other suspension later on but right now my air ride is working perfectly fine and i'm excited about that because i get to continue my trip to milwaukee so tip squad i'm gonna go ahead and end tonight's vlog and i will pick up with you guys tomorrow in the morning when we get up and head on in good morning it is officially third no it's not it is thursday but it's thursday july 13th um i've already i woke up this morning probably about seven something around seven six i don't know it was early uh i didn't go to sleep too late so i got some good rest um and then had breakfast um, packed on my tour pack that is i had to go um get my bag strapped on the bike and everything and um then we'll get ready to head out towards milwaukee but before before i get there i got one stop i'm gonna make because you know i'm in indiana and y'all know um i'm sure everybody knows about the jacksons everybody knows michael jackson and um i looked it up and his childhood home isn't far from where i'm standing now so i'm definitely gonna ride by there to look at that get some pictures and um you know i'm gonna show y'all let y'all see you know Michael Jackson's um, childhood home and the Jackson because you know it's Janet Jackson and the other Jackson so we're gonna check that out I'm gonna do that and then y'all know where we're headed we're gonna we're on our way to Harley Davidson's 120th in Milwaukee so um I'll check back in with you guys when I start recording again all right Tip Squad remember I told you it wasn't far from Gary Indiana where Michael Jackson grew up at so we finally made it here it is so to all my Jackson fan lovers, this is for you guys. This was nice to see. I enjoyed this. So this is one thing about when you're getting out on your road trips. You get to hit, you know, little gyms like this. So now I'm about to get back on the bike and we'll get ready to go ahead. Ride on into Milwaukee. About to hit um, Illinois. Um, I hadn't really been able to catch some state signs because some of them have been like up above and then we just been rolling. So if I get to catch this one, I'm definitely going to get a picture there. But other than that, y'all, let's go. We're on our way to Milwaukee. y'all i'm checked in and i'm all squared away a little now i'm getting ready to um go and pick up my media passes and everything so thank you to um harley davidson for you know the accommodations you made for my room um and for me being able to get my media passes and everything so i'm about to head over go pick those things up and we're gonna get ready to start these events off so make sure you guys check into the next couple of videos y'all know i'm making a whole series about my milwaukee trip here so until next time, Tip Squad, make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers that I continue to get. Thank you for all my subscribers that's been here since day one and my ones that keep coming to subscribe and just 
hanging out with Tip Squad. We're having a good time over here. I'm having a good time with you guys. Until next time, Tiffany Renee signing off, y'all. Love you guys. Bye.